Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JY. We're here at Sneak Attack Regional in London and we're with Tier Zero Gaming. So they're you know, one of the best teams in the UK. They're up there with like the Disciples and Team Shift and all the other guys. And uh, yeah, so we're going to you know, ask them some questions. We're on uh, the casting couch here, chilling. We just finished the regional. Uh, so yeah, how, how was uh, the regional for you guys? Yeah, not great for me. Um, the small mat's a bit quite diverse. So uh, yeah, not good today, but hopefully for Nats. No worries. It's practice for Nationals. Sorry. We're coming out of retirement, boys. The road to nationals is today. I'm washed up, I'm scrubbing out, but it's okay. We're learning what the Furion cars do. Watch this space, nationals 2022. All right, jeez. Oh, right, regional. Oh, the king. Right, 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 the regional was great for me. I came third, like, my deck was consistent. Like, it did what it did, and like, I'm gassed with the deck. Like, it was a great Salaman regional. What did you play? A Salaman great. And also, you topped last week, right? Yeah, yeah, right. A Salaman great. It's got great in the name. Why wouldn't you play the deck? Like, the Great. Oh, I, I love the, the Great. That's his new name now. Yeah, literally, Jeez. the nickname. We're going to put it on the shirt. The Greats. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Now, I want to ask you guys, what got you into Yu-Gi-Oh? So, what got you into Yu-Gi-Oh, Zeki? So, I was just playing it at home with my brother. Um, and then uh, a friend messaged me out of the blue saying if I play Yu-Gi-Oh or not. And then I did. And then we went to our locals. And after that, it was just, yeah, it's curtains. And here I am, like, traveling everywhere around the world to play Yu-Gi-Oh in it. Jeez. Sick, sick. What about you? Uh, Joe White the Great. I was one of them people that played it in school and then we stopped playing it. And then I went on a holiday at like tw age 12 or 13 with one of my friends. And my dad decided we'd go a day early to the holiday just to prepare. And that day early was the last day there was a Yu-Gi-Oh bus there. So me and my friend went on the Yu-Gi-Oh bus and it got us back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like for playing that Yu-Gi-Oh bus, you got a structured deck and a pack. And that was the gateway into this drug that is Yu-Gi-Oh. Like since then, I found there was a locals in my area and locals. I met these guys and I met the team and then it just kind of spiraled out of control from there. <laughs> it's, it's not that format again. No, no. <laughs> Um, for me, it was I loved the TV show as a kid. I always did. Uh, I got loads and loads of cars from like packs, like car boot sales, getting loads of bulk. And eventually, like my dad got sick of it. He's like, if you've got all these cards, you've got to do something with it. So he took me to my first locals ever, which was in a scout hut in Ipswich. And just ever since, I've been going up and down the country, all over the world. I just, I genuinely couldn't imagine like my life without the social aspect of the game, at the very least. It's just, yeah, it's mad. Yeah, thank you guys. I, I really, it's always nice to hear these stories of how people get into the game. It's just, it's just amazing. Like everyone has like their own different ways that they got into it. And like now, how how do you think Yu-Gi-Oh has impacted your life? Like personally, like I, I don't, I don't know where I would be without Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, it's it sounds corny, I know, but it's like, it's a bit like it gave me like a social life. It gave me uh, something to drive, like something to drive. Why I'm doing like university and stuff. So it was like. A side hobby, otherwise I feel like I'd be like bored to death at this point. It would have been very rang. It's like yeah, no. Absolutely madness you gave us me, yeah. Yeah, like I definitely can relate to like being able to compete at something and like pushing yourself and like it, it gives you that like competitive edge and that drive, like you were saying, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, like coming from someone with a lot of brothers as well, like super competitive is in our nature and anything we do, we always compete. It's like you go it's just a good His brother's out. behind the camera smiling. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, this is a good like a vessel for it to go through basically and compete to a high level. Jeez, vessel as well, man. All these, all these puns. <laughs> oh, bro, about Yuki, I'll be no. <laughs> like, uh, it's just giving me like this crazy social life. Like the circle I call like my best friend circle. It's all from Yuki. Like if we like pushed away Yuki for a moment, like I want to have these friends. I don't think I'd have a hobby that I'm like as devoted to. Like, <laughs> like Yuki is like I, I like playing it. Like I'm devoted to it. Like this, is, I would without Yuki, I don't think there'd be anything else to fill that social gap or like hobby gaps. So, like. I'm kind of the same as Zeki about you, girl. Like, I say my social life would be half to like 10%. Jeez. And I, I, I don't know what my life would be about you, girl. It's scary, it's scary to think what life would have been about you, girl. No, that's touching. <laughs> that, that's touching. Oh my God. That, that, that was beautiful, man. Well, for me, it's like, like I said, I couldn't imagine my life without the social aspect. Like, as much as it's a love hate relationship with the game, I just couldn't see about friends. Just for me personally, I live in like a quite small town. So if I didn't have something to like leave the town for, I'd just be one of them guys where we'd like booking like little holidays or like festivals, just getting mashed up every weekend. And like from getting rinsed in high school to like having like a small business, to me, is just madness over this, these little pieces of cardboard, I suppose. Just, yeah, you get player till I die, 100%. So, so for you, it's, it's your hobby, you know, it's your social life, and it's your job yeah, as well? trust me. It's so jokes. Literally, I've been telling everyone this week, I've been clearing out a basement in my mum's salon to use as, like, a little stock room. <laughs> so it's mad. Literally, I've just been, like, did free tip runs yesterday. Going to start putting stock in there. It's just, yeah, it's just crazy, man. Uh, do you have an online store you want to plug? Well, we don't have a website, but... Uh, you want to go on eBay, sell a power tool cards, all one word. Follow us on Instagram, power tool cards, I think it's all one word. If not, there's underscores in it. 
big ups for the shout out or if you find yourself on tier zero games you want five self on tz zero for five percent off any questions quibbles or queries give me a shout i'll get you sorted mate Awesome, I'll make sure to have that all plugged in the description. Now now we've got the, the sappy emotional stuff out of the way, let's get down to business. So what are we thinking about the current format? So Banners came out, it's been about a week, we've got a new set, Dimension Force, everything's going down, so what are your thoughts? Uh, I think the format's good though, super diverse, like 8 out, eight out of 8 decks are like super diverse, Weiss's Hartford's pretty diverse, like, um, but I do think it's still undefined, it's really undefined, so uh, a lot can still happen here between here and that so it looks like it's gonna be a good nat tournament either way so we're excited for it awesome awesome yeah i'm liking the format at first when i saw the ban list i was kind of worried for like scythe decks or like these pseudo you don't play your deck clock decks but like i've seen the format progress there's like a lot of like really good decks that have like a high skill level and like they're kind of fair like even if you don't draw a hand trap you can still play your deck so like it's that nice balance of skill still be able to play out your deck and like i think it's gonna be a good format for nats like i think i'm gonna quite enjoy it there's like no like I don't think there's no defined best deck right now because there's still too many decks to choose from. But I, I like having diverse formats and not being just, oh, I've got to play this one deck. It's like, oh, I have five decks to choose from. And no one's going to know which one to prepare for. There's so many. So yeah, I quite like these diverse formats right now. Um, as someone trying to com like to return to the competitive scene, this format seems crazy to me. It's like coming back, it's like, wow, there's like eight, ten decks I can pick from. All the new fear and stuff's crazy. Like... I'm looking forward to Nationals, but as, as you said, it seems so undefined right now. There's definitely a lot of work to be done. I'm really looking forward to see how Hartford goes. There's a lot of flunder, which people in the UK don't seem to boo. rate, but yeah, <laughs> boo, like Barry Statue M Pen, no, nice deck, bro. But nah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with it because I, I haven't had a format this open in so many years, it feels like. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm alright with it. I didn't like it at first, but we're getting there. Awesome, thank you. Really appreciate it. Like, one last time, who wants to plug Tier Zero? I think it has to be Matthew Bag. Right? It's got to be done. I'm basically PR, you know, when I was washed up. So, yeah, shout out to www.tzerogames.com. You want to use discount code 5, that's the number 5 cell phone, as in Morphtronic cell phone, TZ0 or Z, or sorry, Z if you're from the States. They get 5% off. If you've got any problems, give us a message, we'll get you sorted, guys. Awesome, yeah, shout out to Tier Zero Gaming. Subscribe to your boys' channel, and yeah, see you in the next one. Take care.